Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in uh, Vanilla Hoi 4 using the Gato Damarung DLC of course which we're playing as Belgian Congo hopefully someday we'll just be the Congo because we're going communist in this campaign and uh, I'm gonna push out hopefully and I have no idea what's gonna happen um, I kinda looked at the focus tree earlier but we're gonna be communist the National Committee for Liberation the weak centrists of the Congolese National Movement team seems content with compromising on independence that may never come a part of agreeing to the 30-year plan for the emancipation of Belgian Africa by Jan uh, Jeff van Bilsen. We must strike against the colonial authorities before they have a chance to smother our flames. We will no longer be able to attempt to negotiate our independence peacefully and be committed to armed revolution. Hmm. Rising suspicion towards the National Committee. Also, we're on a historical for this campaign. Seeing as a newly formed National Committee for Liberation has taken a more standoffish stance towards the colonial government, many people in this countryside have started worrying about how the committee may not try to take a peaceful route to independence. Moreover, on the region of Katanga, whispers of secessionism have begun to be heard. It may be so that the state may attempt to declare independence when a war for liberation starts. We need to be, they, they will need to be convinced or liberated by force. Ko... Hmm. Quilhatville and Lusambo will join the pro-Belgian loyalists when the war for independence starts. The Civil Movement. When the War for Liberation begins, we'll gain three Civil Movement divisions. And they'll be able to coup the government and take national leadership of the population of communism and become China. Approach to the disfavor of Mwan. When the War for Liberation begins, we'll gain two Rwandan divisions, and monarchic sentiments of the country will start to grow stronger with time. Encourage unionism. Endorse forced public mutinies. If mutinies are o either over or still ongoing when the strike when the focus strike while the iron is hot is completed, the spear will greatly affect our enemy in a civil war. Oh. So we might want to wait for this one a little later. The Intor Lion Dancers gain one of the unit of seven infantry battalions. Formerly recognized the Kambanguis Church. Hmm. We have a guy here too. We can do other focuses that we could probably do here. I'm sure plays a Congo some other time too. Seems like a lot of really good a lot of good stuff. Promote Makoto Provincial Commissioner. Huh, establish new Samba Sabena air routes. And we have the Belgian Congo here too. Levondo. Well. Original country is Belgian Congo. It's a faction with Belgium, it's a subject of Belgium. Hmm. Or we can just rush it. Now, this is interesting down here. So we have Casa of Ubu's first cabinet. And then the Lion Roars. The Simba Coup d'etat. <clears throat> and then the Symbol of Regency Council. For a monarchy. But it doesn't seem like there's very much of a monarchy. But I'm sure there's more there than what meets the eye. Because we want the FLNC. Communists. Go fascist. Abaco's democratic. So that's a democratic route. Liberation by force, or invite Kwame Nkrumah to the capital. Well, I think I want to do take the Simba movement. The best way to offer colonial overlords is to be down to earth and gain the support of the common populace. To that end, Christoph uh, uh, Gebenya has organized a group known as the Simbas, which is meant to represent the ferocity of a big lion, which they strike down with their foes. They would be our best bet for getting independence. We'll see what happens in the end. What do we have? The invincible, invisible roof. Well, there exists no laws to officialize this. Most, if not all, institutions and corporations in the Belgian Congo block native Congolese citizens from rising above certain stations, and they're not allowed into higher education. Attempt to sway the Mozi Shombe. The province of Katanga doesn't seem to be on board with our ideas of secession, and will likely see, see themselves if <clears throat> we were to launch a revolt. We must therefore gain the support of one of the most prominent politicians, Mozi Shomba, and I will have him convince them of our combined cause. An uncontrollably vast nation. Our state is longer, larger than most, despite our lacking economic and administrative difficulties. <clears throat> the corners of the city are difficult for a central government to reach in and control. And communications and logistics between cities can take weeks, if not months. And we can make the United States of Latin America Africa. The Romance language speaking in Central a African countries that have a lot in common and share the same state religion. Now, more than ever, the region needs to join together as if it's going to stand against the might of the global superpowers. Secure Soviet aid. Well, that would be bad. Mm. 
secure German aid. We could, but we're going to secure Soviet aid. There are many powers would like to see us independent, or at least see our Belgian overlords weakened. The Soviet Union may be our best job we wish to gain an ad that we will be able to rely on even after the war. Oh, we're going communist in Ethiopia too. Look at that. Kokolo Longo. Approach the uh, Baratse Latunga. Latunga, the Baratse people are to our south, yet to the second. Shares many of our goals when it comes to anti imperialism. But perhaps it would prove to be wise to gain his trust and have his warriors aid in our liberation. The Soviet Union decides to aid us. Our diplomats have returned from their talks with the military Soviet staff. And they have supposedly reached an agreement where they will send some men and equipment when we decide to declare war against our oppressors. Today is a good day for the people of the Congo. Slander so of the colonial authorities. What we need to do now is begin a large-scale propaganda campaign against the colonial authorities and expose to the public everything that they have done and still are doing towards us. Only by doing so we can truly gain the support of the people. Oh. Huh. The national spirit will be removed upon the conclusion of our war for independence. I wonder what divisions we get when we uh, start going to war. <clears throat> ah. How about the uh, Vlishauer? Freedom gained by trade. Huh. Cannot be fired. District Commissioner of Leopoldville can be upgraded on the focus promote Manquetta Provincial Manager Commissioner. Oh, Naval XP gain. Congolese Polymath. Interesting. I don't think going to partial mobs is really going to help us out, but you know, I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Strike while the iron is hot. Well, encourage unionism. There are men in the Congo that do not get anywhere the same amount of pay as their theoretical equals. To solve this issue, we must encourage people to unionize since only, since only by working together can we bring about a better future. Yeah. Autosuns Hungarian crown. The time is now, it's now, or, now or never. We shall now strike down our enemies with ferocity so their country can be free from colonial suppression once for all. Our troops will begin their march towards Leopoldville, officially starting the war for independence. We'll be able to force a peace with the former overlords and gain full independence if we control Leopoldville, Elizabethville, and Stanleyville, or if they do. They will win if they do. Hmm. Anti democratic raids. Sure, why not? Dominion's break of the crown. Make contact with Irving Brown. Oh. The General Labour Federation of Belgium. The General Labour Federation of Belgium was established as a replacement for the Trade Union Commission. I was looking to expand its influence further than the Belgian mainland. Thanks to our contacts, we can make sure that they root themselves in the Congo, providing a unified organization for people to take part in. So we're going to try to get as much time support as possible first. I should have done this one or other one earlier, but whatever. Union Nationale des Travailleurs du Congo. We need to find a trade union centered in the Congo, one which is separate from both our and any other nation's government. And eventually we'll endorse the public endorse force public mutinies. The other force public is a tool of the colonial authorities. There are many within the organization that see a civilizing mission for what it truly is. It should convince them that the best course of action is a mutiny, and that only through such a thing can we gain full independence. More communism. What else do we want? Gain one elite unit? Well, daily compliance isn't bad, but we don't want compliance. Well, the Belgian Congo. The colony was established in 1908. After the Congo Free State was annexed to the Belgian government, away from the exploitation by the Belgian crown. The Belgian Congo remains a jewel at the heart of the Belgian colonial policy. <clears throat> I just hope you have your hands. Anyways. Why would we ban communism? We love communism here. Okay, actually, do we have any more communist supporters? I don't think so. Trade unionist. Ah, Belgium investment for development. Look at that. The Belgian colonial offices passed a bill today to allocate much larger amounts of resources to our industrial development and to begin construction of industrial facilities in Leopoldville. Very nice. Um, figure out what a truck is. 
the heart of Africa. Dear democracy support now. More factories in 15, you get another research slot. Military factories would be pretty nice. Cities would be pretty, pretty nice. Mm. Although most military production is handled in Belgium, there are still a small number of a number of small town workshops who can repair and repurpose old military hardware. We should ensure that they have what they need to do this in case they need to call on this equipment in the future. Um I really don't know what to do. I don't know if we can really build that much. Oh, I guess Finland's falling apart too. Look at that. Germany's going fascist still though. I just want to make sure that we have uh, enough support so that we can do well. Oh, this is what they're doing here. Congo Investments, cool. Uh, Society General de Belgique. The heart of Africa. I would just say screw it, just go to communist right, anyways right now. Well, Poland's falling apart. Spain's falling apart, of course. Um, anything else happening here? China's China, America's America, Canada is broken free, of course. A little kind of disgusting, not gonna lie. Hey, get some guns. Well, that's okay. So we're going to go and do this one. George Paul, of course. Mutinies. And then uh, Strike While Iron is Hot. We'll do that one next. If it goes poorly, I'm going to do other things here in the meantime to make it more communist for us. Such as uh, securing international funding. The Belgian colonial authorities not only power aware of Congo's potential, we should look to international partnerships for investment with whom we can do business with or without Belgium. Free Enterprise Fund, the Belgian Colonial Administration are well aware that they need to invest in order to list the most in the Congo. As such, they're offering financial grants to small businesses to help them get started. Expand villages. Congo has a great, uh, well, little on time, oh god. A great deal of potential, but can only be met by a large and vibrant labor force. We should establish new villages in the area we want to develop and encourage its growth. Rajwi Group, growing from humble roots, the Rajwi business has been expanding to encompass a variety of different industries and enterprises throughout the Congo and the heart of Africa. Vast territories of the Congo sit in the middle of Africa, and while relatively poor and underdeveloped, its interior hides a vast wealth of resources and possibilities. All we have to do is strike out and find them. Oh, six factories. That's a lot. The model colony. This barrel move to Congo is no longer uh, subject to Belgium. Belgium Congo is a model colony of our overlord and is thus receiving investments to match it, as its overlord also gained development from, from it further. From developing it further. Force public. Mutinies in the force public. Allow us attack and defense. Nice. Just slowly getting rid of the support for the unaligned. Or not aligned. Hey, we figured out how to build things, that's cool. In this case, uh, you know what, let's get that research done first. Boop, air the trucks. Boop, boop, and we're gonna save. It's frickin' Africa, what do you expect? <clears throat> nope, we're gonna go to Pakistan and India. Ah, you run it up, please go ahead. And the line roars. People of Africa yearn for liberation from their oppressors, just as we once did. The symbols have gained massive popularity as of late, and at this point in time, there's nothing that can be done to prevent them from taking up national leadership. Alright, so what do we got here? Ten divisions, huh? So we have Stanleyville. They have a Leopoldville. Where's Elizabethville? Oh, we have Elizabethville. I guess. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, look at this guy, Joseph Kasak Vubu. Prominent centrist. Very communist. I like it. Arme Populaire de Liberation. Three more civvies. Huh. Alright, so now that we're actually doing this. Hold national referendum. Communist demand referendum. We can become communist straight up right now. Because technically we're democratic. Oh. Oh, well, there goes our stability, but we didn't have stability anyway, so okay. Uh, Cyril Abdullah, a trade unionist. There we go. Hmm, that'll be good. I like this one too. The revolutionary arm needs to reach all and be strong enough to protect our citizens. So then we need to find our own Armée Populaire de Liberation so that our people will never get enough to fear for their safety. No stability, good. We have no stability, they have no war support. Now, what type of templates are we working with? Well, let's look around here. Two six combo with divisions. Uh, this group is eight combo with, with oh support companies. You are two more infantry divisions with eight combat with the Tunga's guards and whatnot. Ten combat with not bad division du Bares. Oh god, irregular infantry. This sickle division is ten militia divisions, and then this division is ten infantry. Okay. We'll see what happens. You seem very experienced. Infantry, jungle rat. Can you go in at least right now? Hope we do well. Literally take as much territory as you possibly can right now. And then hold on to your butts. Ooh, that's not good. So the question of leadership, leadership of our nation, has come to question as a recent, stemming from Cyril Abdullah's ties to Americans and Belgian trade unionists. Many of the leader of the Simbas, Christopher Gbene, should stake up the mantle as the new chairman of the state. Should we buckle to them? We cannot leave. We should leave. Oh, revolutionary general. Yeah, why not? Who are you now? Oh, you're smiling. You're kind of smiling. Kind of imposing on us. Kind of very large. Can you go around him, perhaps? Was it max 30? Oh, darn it. Oh, hello. You're just shifting your people around, weren't you? Mean. Well, that should help us out. Um, anything else could help us out here? That'd be nice. We can still do a lot of the stuff here, too. Uh, yeah, another division would be good, though. Anything for military? Bay of the Tommy Progress, Invisible Roof, Congolese Business Owners. Attempt to centralize a state, allow local autonomy. Then to our line dance to the elite royal guard of the Run uh, Rwandan Mwami. They often be referred to as the chosen ones within the traditional Rwandan army. It would be for the best to make sure that this armed force is under the command of the central government. Yeah, probably. Who 
we have even a single city? Or do we have five military force jobs? One city, okay. Okay, so we got there, nice. Can you move fast enough to get here? I don't mind maybe sacrificing that top and can break over the river. That might be worth it. Come on, come on, come on. Proclaim the People's Republic of the Congo. If you asked our neighbors or people years ago if they thought we could ever reach this day, they would have answered no, but we've done it. <clears throat> Today is a day that we can proclaim the creation of our long sought after People's Republic. Long live German, long live the state. job guys now we're gonna go win and you gotta go fast you gotta go blitz 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 <clears throat> and if we can hold them in place which is actually awesome. <clears throat> well, we did it. Nice job, everybody. We won. Oh. Uh, and now they're a bunch of fascists. Sorry, Leon de Grel. But too bad. Perpetual neutrality. Colonial returns. Hey, I don't know about that. Truth to draw the town screen. I'm not even looking at this belt and tree. I want to play it sometime though. Rexus VNV. The man for the Gala concessions. Belgica. This is a new Ruhr. The Walloon Legion. Hmm. And there's our part of the tree. Alright. Nice. We won. Now what? We want strict anti-clericalism. <clears throat> Excuse me, or cooperate with the Congolese churches. I think that's probably the most smart thing to do. The churches, though conservative in nature, do not oppose us and are no big threat to our rule. Therefore, it would be best instead to make sure that we're on the good side and have them instead be part of a uh, national apparatus. Communist churches, I love it. Just makes sense, you know. Embrace authenticity. Oh, we're red. Yay. I think it's smart to do. Well, we won the war. What Busa's declaration. With the government's very loose grasp of the Rwandi Urundi mandate and the spread of national sentiments with the region. Mwani Mwambutusi the Butusa the fourth, King of Burundi's declared the nation's independent state, thus severing our attached to central government should we intervene. Who said they could have independence? The Rwandan Revolution. With the government's very loose grasp of the Rwanda or Urundi mandate, the spread of national sentiment spread throughout the region. Mwani Mutari III Urudahigawa, the king of Rwanda, declared a nation in a independent state. Thus, serving to such a government should we intervene. Hello?
Liberation by force. The Organization of African Unity. African RTD program. Mutual defense. Invite Organization of African Unity members of a mutual defense agreement. The Central African Bank. Executive Council. African Union. Integrate Executive Council members into the African Union. Or invite Kwame Nkrumah to the capital. Or the Pan African Congress. African National Secretariat. For Austro Personality Cult. Join the Comiton. I like this one. Let's invite this guy. I invite him. Kwame Nkrumah is an influential and popular Pan Africanist Ghanaian politician. We should invite him to our capital, establish good relations with the movement, and perhaps he could be useful to us in more ways than one. Keep these guys in place. How dare you rebel against us? Ah, a couple guns, a barrel of oil or two. I love Africa. Alright, so that being said, we have way too many different types of divisions here. Force Public is not bad. Troops de Katanga is literally the best. Because Entor is okay. I don't like militia. I don't like a regular infantry. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at these. So regular infantry, we did get bonuses on forest by quite a bit, and hills, and mountains, and desert. So irregular is not terrible. But militia, garbage. So barres are okay to keep. Everyone but the barres. Right. Oh. As a visit, the Ghanaian Pan Africanist politician Kwame Nkrumah has today arrived in the capital after a formal invitation by Christopher Gabeni. An avid socialist, many believe that cooperation with them may prove beneficial. If we should secure Africa's future, with some even claiming that we should take up the mantle of our na leader of our nation. What would the best course of action? He's the leader we need. Well, this guy's not bad. He's not great. We believe great cooperation can be achieved. Or a Pan-African Socialist. Hmm. It looks like he's tired a little bit. I'm sure he is. Great friend, I hope you lose your colonies. I should have set that up in the cons commands earlier. Whoopsie. Ah, socialist education reforms. People must properly be educated so they can think for themselves without falling back to the traps of tribalism and savagery. We must therefore shape, strive to shape the education systems and curriculum to fit their desired viewpoints. Foster a personality cult. There's no one other than the Francis Kwame Nkrumah who can bring prosperity to the people of Africa. He is a great leader who stands as the foundation for independence and must be treated accordingly. Oh, the Pan-African Congress. All influential African politicians must gather and decide the future of the continent together. On the agenda must be rebellion against the colonial states and the emancipation of African peoples. The African National Secretariat. The time is coming to enact that which was decided upon the Pan-African Congress. We supply arms to revolutionaries and aid in the global anti-colonial struggle so that this dark age can come to an end once for all. Well, one, two, three. Hopefully we make, can, can make something here. Spanish are dying. Ah. Polish people are public. Stalin. German Reich. Nice. Inner circle. Oh, Albert Speer. Goring. Martin Bormann. Very nice. Ah, they're going communist too. Huh. Alright, I'm okay with that. 
Oh. Oh. Sithlania trans Lithania. Kingdom of Moravia, Bohemia, Moravia, and Silesia. I was reading around that, uh, must be easier for uh, Hungary to actually unify and become Austria Hungary again. Mm. This is pretty good. Here's an army draw, though. Well, the Germans were doing okay against, uh, Czechos well, it was Czechoslovakia. We weren't invited to the fourth international. What's wrong with them? Oh, they took Budapest. Look at that. Well, this will make Germany probably stronger in the end. Bjorn knows almost gone. Austria's hard to take. Well. Well, the rack just got bigger. Okay. Are you gonna make a puppet or anything, or is you just gonna eat him? I guess we're just gonna eat him. Well then. If I'm going down a line, I forget. Should have had them like release their subjects and whatnot. Then we can go back and fix that. Ah, the People's Republic of Congo incites colonial resistance. The Congo's government has reported that start shipping out weapons to resistance groups in Africa and are harboring and training dissidents and militias for the attempted liberation of the states under occupation. We need to be aware regarding the region going forward. Time for Africa has come. Support of Tal Ethiopian independence. Huh. We're doing we can't support resistance movements across the region until the blood of imperialism is finally removed. Can I go to war with Portugal, perhaps? No, we can do this one. I might just go do funky stuff to see if we can actually do stuff here, too. Ooh, step to Army National Congolese. Alright, demands have been many. But not to know they've finally been met. Today's the day that we get to form a proper Congolese army, one that can stand tall against any future enemies we may encounter. Locks any po force public force folks from being taken in the future. Where is that? Congo in the war in Europe? No one cares. Forces terrestrial. The most important part of the army is the land warfare component, and our le ours is a lot to be desired. We must invest in it so it can be stand tall against others. So, after we leave our force public roots behind and restructure our army to look less like a Jedi Mario it once was, and more like a proper fighting force. Standardized military production. We look at hodgepodge of foreign and homemade equipment. Our energies cannot produce the necessary equipment or replacements as fast as enough for eight. We must therefore work to standardize equipment used by armed forces. That'd probably be good. And for us, Ariane Congolese. In order to properly keep up with our enemies, we must reorganize the air wings and establish a proper air force branch and newly established military. And Marine National Nav. Though it has not been something we've invested heavily into previously, uh, Marine Force is necessary for most modern nations. The only question is if we wish to construct it with the purpose of sending the force out into the Atlantic Ocean, or we want a structure to better operate on the many rivers in the Congo Basin. Well, everyone, I basically restored what we did. So now Africa's more decolonized. I made Great Britain go down basically the communist route. Uh, this is still together here. Um, apparently Germany just declared war on the on America? On the Philippines? I, I, I don't understand how or why. 
But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. But we're gonna go to War with Angola. I made Portugal release himself, just so we could do something here. And now we got a lot of different things we can do here, too. Anti-Spanish stuff. Anti-French stuff. Sure, why not? Poland and for resistance can be supported. I think that's a great thing. Nova Lisboa. More in South America. Um, let's see. With the current hodgepodge, for homemade equipment, our industries cannot produce the necessary replacement at a fast enough rate. We must therefore work to a standardized equipment used by armed forces. Of course. Mm. Lingua and Swahili's martial languages. French is martial language. I like the organization. Traditionally, the force publique had used French as a primary language in the military. It was proven to be a winning concept, and there's no reason for us to swap it out anytime soon. Which, this one's better for us to do. I'm going to go with the French one anyways, because we want as much organization as possible as well. So, it is what it is. And we got a goal. Of course, I don't think we made any divisions. We've made it super easy for us. So, that number side, and we're going to use what? You all to do that. That's just Fulton, huh? Oh. Arm the anti-French resistance in the Congo. Oh, look at that one there too. Well, they're still in their alliance. South Africa's not, but I don't think we could take them on. Just saying. Are they fought in civil war? Then maybe. Nordic Cooperation Alliance. Oh, Denmark and these guys. Sweden's in the Allies. Hmm. Turkish Empire. Chinese United Front. I don't think there's very much we could do against these guys. I don't want to even send them down here because supply is so bad. Or we have no supply, basically. Don't really have an industry either. Uh huh. Well, what else can we do? Peacekeeping forces? Guerrilla tactics? Um. Aeronautical research department? It may not be something we previously invested heavily in, but it must not be forgotten that we cannot rely too heavily on foreign actors. We must attempt to develop and produce our own aircraft no matter the cost associated with it. Yeah. National sport and industrial assets, the water history. Many foreign companies and corporations have arrived in our nation and exploited resources and people. We must nationalize those industries and bring them in as their own. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Very nice. We could probably use quite a few guns, can't we? Hmm. No, we need guns. Let's see what happens. We need factories. We need a lot of things here. <clears throat> Resistance is still going up, unfortunately. Happens. Better radio. Not really sure what we can do with them this this route of this journey. Well, let's get some trucks maybe. Join the common turn, I guess. Oh, that's be good to get. Formerly recognized the Kambanguist Church. Someone Kambang Kambangu. Self proclaimed special envoy Jesus Christ himself has been a thorn in the side of our administration for many years. With the amount of support from the local populace that his movement has garnered, however, maybe the right time to formally recognize Jesus Christ's church on earth by a special envoy, Aunt Simon. Uh, Kimbangu is a legitimate religious group within our nation. A 
attempt to centralize a state. Our vast nation is infinitely impossible to control from one central location. At least we can not invent better communications, transportation technologies. We should, however, do what we can the moment to better centralize the state around our capital. Uh -huh. Interesting. Best in the urban centers. Our nation is vast, our people many. There is, however, not enough money to go around. We're to invest anywhere the country so lie neglected. Those are not established from investing into two of our largest towns, Leopoldville and Elizabethville. Yeah, might as well. Oh, I'll let war with the allies. There you go. Uh, sure, if you really want to come here and do that, that's fine, I guess. There's really not much here for you. I like, like getting special stuff there. Um, most of gentlemen, I think we'll probably do next. Disperse industry, more construction speed. Yeah, that'd be nice. We nice have more guns too. We literally have no extra convoys. We don't have any dockyards. Uh oh. Okay then. Finland's slowly dying. Centralize the state. We'll try to do all this stuff here too. Um. Shatter the roof. That'd be good to get rid of too. The second you get the universities, there are many bright minds in our nations who get stifled and trampled over by the universities' policies of not being allowed to uh, certain, not allowing certain people to rise above a certain grade of education. We must put an end to that at once, for there are many who want to help our nation but can't. Congolese business owners. In order for a society to heal from the many years of institutionalized oppression and make strides towards a more just society, we must start encouraging Congolese citizens to start making their own businesses in the hopes that they can make it into the market. I just went first too. We need Chad. I'm gonna go to war. Oh. I hope the French coming to war. Hmm. Wins. We need to jump ship and join the com and turn. Hmm. But they're fighting the Allies. Which would put us in a war against the Allies. Oh, we take core states, I like that. Let's see. There's resistance. Compliance still going up, which is good. Intelligence agency. Yeah, map power is okay enough for now. Push forces to attack, enemy air support. Well, it increases command power. Why not? Good. Repair uh, weapons workshop. Yeah. Colonial authorities have given the go-ahead for further investment in an expansion of industri industries and mines within our nation, including railway subsidi subsidiaries and other projects needed to supply and keep the operations running. We should use this to our advantage. Oh, yeah. Ah, French Company has one. Good. But you guys still exist. Free France still exists. Hmm. 
Because I need all this territory. I'm getting up Chad, Khartoum. Zambian communism failing. Middle Congo. Wait. You guys just joined the Axis. Oh no. Yeah, they did. What the heck? Oh! Nordic Cooperation Alliance. This is weird. No, because we need to fight you too. And that is going to royally suck. City, huh? That's what's gonna make every 360 days and per, once per core state. I'll do that one. So they're in the allies. I need these guys to fight the Soviets because we'll join the common turn eventually. But the common turn is fighting the Allies. Hmm. Not a good thing we got going here. Form this. It's not bad. Hmm. You want the common term? We have ideological allies in the Soviet Union who wish for nothing more than to bring an end to the era of colonialism. We should therefore establish close diplomatic ties to them, even perhaps an alliance. Let's see what we can do. If it goes well, great. If not, then it doesn't. Well, we got him. And all these people in the Allies, too. And these people in the Allies, oh god. I don't mind getting some of these guys, but... We'll see, you know. Can we import one more steel? Maybe two steel? We'll produce just enough guns for us to actually do stuff. Alright, so the welcome us to the common term. The Soviet Union has decided to accept a request to join the common term, henceforth we shall stand and fall together. The workers' pike cannot ask for a finer champions. Nice. Hmm. I need military factories. I need a lot of things. Oh! Establish Lovanium University. Initially formed as a medical college intended to study tropical medicine, we have the opportunity to expand the institute with the Department of Agricultural Sciences and once we designate it as a university proper, it should become the envy of Africa. I think I read these earlier, so. I think one of the we've done really well. We became communists, we've expanded quite a bit, and uh, we're trying to basically uproot where the French are. We're trying to make their lives much worse. Much, much worse. Oh my god, much worse. Say modifiers, Chad. Nice. I'm actually really bad for them, so. 
I really won't. Um, I'm not ready to fight those guys yet. We're working on it, but we're not quite ready yet. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna definitely struggle in the counter. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.